Finally got it off. My hero. Harry. We've got to destroy it. It's too dangerous. I don't want you to lose yourself. Like I did. Pete. Please. You don't understand. Connor said it was... I saved your life? And you won't save mine? Do you want me to die? Here, you. Oh, God. Harry. No! Don't hurt him!
the force to evacuate. There's nowhere else for you to go, Harry! I can save you! He felt that!
I don't... What did I just do? Don't be scared, honey. You finally have the power to do what we've always wanted. We're going to heal the world. How? Let me show you. from MJ in a while. I should give her a call. <sighs> hate this. I love this. You do? <laughs> You've hit the nail on the head. Finally! Top story. Everybody's talking about it. This is editor material. Editor? Congratulations. Your first assignment, write more juicy stuff by tomorrow morning. Drama, controversy, just like this. Like this. Get writing! <sighs> MJ. I, uh, didn't get fired from the Bugle. In fact, I think I, I got a promotion. Hey, that's what you wanted, right? Yeah, I, I thought it was. Then that's... Great. Hey, listen. Something's gone wrong with Harry. What? What happened? Well... Hang on, someone's at the door. It's kind of hard to explain. Just promise me you'll stay away from him, okay? MJ? MJ! Where's... Harry. Pete? You look tense. Coffee? We need to talk. You must get tired making the world a better place every single day. But I can help. All you have to do is let me. This isn't you. Wrong. This is the real me. I finally have the power to realize our vision. Giving up on me? Harry, we need to get that thing off you. Do not call us a thing. Harry, we are not Harry.
can have her! Too late! MJ... I'm sorry. Norman, what are you doing? What do with that thing? I think we're about to find out. You need to know. Harry's gone. Host and symbiote are perfectly fused. I'll find a way to save him. You can't. But you can still stop the symbiote. How? By killing the host. Please, save my boy.
Haley's in trouble. Pete, I saw the meteorite. It's under the Harlem subway station, next to the bridge. Heading there now! Wait for me though, man. Harry, he's after you. I have to go help Haley, but just wait, all right? Whoa, whoa, back up. What happened? I got sucked into the high pine. Saw this vision of the meteorite underground. But I've got a bad feeling. You think Harry's there? I'm serious, Pete. Just give me 10 minutes. You cannot do this alone. Right. Call me when you're done. Sorry, Miles, but I can't waste any time. <laughs> <laughs> Trying, buddy. I just need that meteorite, okay? Miles, I'm not seeing a rock. No? Hold on, I'm nearly to you. Thanks for coming, Pete. We want to show you something. Your plus one isn't invited to our high school reunion, Harry! Harry!
after your mom got sick! I couldn't see her like that. When you lost her, that day on the football field, I was there! Always have been! Until we got sick again. You abandoned us while we were fighting for our lives. I was trying to save you! It didn't feel like that to us. Symbiote's dropping in. Stay calm. Take about one at a time. Not working. Get free Harry with more anti-venom.
I'm never gonna heal the world with you. Not like this. <sighs> Remember what you did. Harry! Man, that's the tip of 
radio talking, not you! You were jealous. That's why you pushed us apart. Maybe I was, but Pete wasn't Pete. I thought I clipped his wings. You think you're better than us, don't you? This ain't about who's better. I just prefer you without the psycho alien on. Doesn't matter if you like me or not, I'm here for you. You can't see it now, but we're not so different, man.
I'm done. Either way, P. We still have time? No, we don't. It'll kill them. And then it'll kill you. Let's heal the world, P. Together. some room. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I gotta try.
Harry. Pulse is weak. We gotta move. What have you done? What have you done to him? I'm so sorry. I'm coming with you. Wait. There are traces of brain activity, but his chances of coming back are very slim. Just keep him alive. Get the G serum ready. ASAP. For the last few years, tragedy has tried to tear the city apart. But we somehow kept going. We battled sickness, evil, Cataclysm. We are tired, anxious, stressed, numb. But we have never lost hope. The city needs to heal. We're all ready to return to normal, but what is normal? What if it no longer exists? Over the last half hour, I've talked about how these events have changed me. But what about you? In this ongoing series, I will be talking with people throughout the city, exploring our new behaviors, new routines, new thoughts and feelings. I hope you'll join me on this journey. This has been Mary Jane Watson, and you're listening to The New Normal. Episode one, done. Nice. <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, are these good to go? In a minute, I want to show you something first. Okay. It has molasses in it. Yum, I'll take those. <laughs> Thanks again for the donation, Peter. Have you talked to Miles about? Not yet. <sighs> 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 
You ready? Uh, Miles. I've been meaning to talk to you uh, about some. Uh, I mean, I have been talking to you all, all the time. It's, it's, it's great uh, to talk. So many good talks. Uh, I just haven't been talking to you about what I should have been talking to you about. Pete. Uh, wait, uh, let me start again. I got this. All of it. Go be Peter Parker for a while. Are you, are you sure it's, it's a big city? I can handle it. As long as I can still call you for advice. You don't need it. <sighs> Maybe not now, but there'll come a time. I'm here for you, always. Big bro.